1954, F.N. Souza had an exhibition of his works showing at a gallery in Paris. It was in Paris that Harold Kovner saw Souza's work and was impressed enough to demand a meeting with the artist immediately. And that meeting resulted in a relationship that uh, continued for about four or five years, uh, a period during which Kovner paid uh, Souza a stipend and Souza started painting as he wanted to, freely, without any restrictions, without any thought to the market, and created some of the best works of his career. What is very exciting about Souza is that he is uh, the most international of uh, India's artists. If you look at his work, the language could belong to any modernist from anywhere in the West. His subjects, of course, range from nudes at that point in time to society around him. Man and Woman Laughing follows an earlier painting of his called Man and Woman Grinding Their Teeth. As a subject, the couple perhaps setting out for an evening, the woman lipsticked, their clothes covering them up so you have no sense of their particularities, becomes significant because it's a positive painting. For Sousa, who often looked at society and its ills, the painting seems to suggest perhaps a certain level of social hypocrisy. Is this couple laughing to hide venal thoughts? Are they grinning because they're genuinely happy? Is this something that is a bit of a cover-up, a mask that they're wearing? These are questions that he left unanswered because he was not providing any resolutions or solutions to the way he was presenting his canvases to his viewing public. The painting was done in 1957 and presumably went off to New York soon after, becoming part of Kovner's collection. The colors blue and green seem to be fairly happy, a happy choice for uh, Souza at that point. I think if one understands the way Souza was in 56, 57, at the height of his career, it made sense for him to be working with colors that pleased him. The hatchback arrow brush stroke that was also a common feature of his paintings appears in the painting here as well, featuring on both the male and the female figure. We believe that this painting is not simply one of the most significant that Souza has painted, but perhaps one of the most significant paintings by any modernist in India, and perhaps the most significant uh, painting that India has to offer at this moment.